also known as the bookworms. Well, these type of students always give out lame jokes all the time. For example, Mr. Nabahan, competent Gavilia communicator Mr. Nabahan. No, no, Mr. <laughs> competent Gavilia communicator Nabahan. Competent Gavilia communicator Nabahan once told me that uh, he asked me that do I like copy? Well, I said uh, yes. Why? He told me that because I can't find another copy like you. Copy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, coffee! Yes, another copy like you. Okay. <laughs> and then, Mr. Daniel <coughs> come over to my desk and asked me that, do, you, do I like Tetare? And I was wondering, why are these people start, started to ask me questions about drinks? And so I asked, yes, why not? He then tell me that... Told me! He, he then, told me! He then told me that I was... Tertarik with you. <laughs> so these nerdy students always give out lame jokes that always somehow made up my day. Number two, they have this. How come you understood those jokes? How come you understood those jokes? Somehow I have a translator in my pocket. So ah, that's because you are a nerd like them too. <laughs> The number two type of student is the one who drop out of school. For example, Mark Zuckerberg uh, drop out of Oxford at the age hey, of... Hey, no, 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 no. Mark Zuckerberg of Harvard. Mark Zuckerberg dropped drop out of Harvard. Harvard, yeah. And uh, <coughs> he then started to invent Facebook mm. and started to become a billionaire. Then Michael Jordan was dropped out of his basketball high school team. Well, if I drop out of school, Guess what I would be? A worker at a McDonald's restaurant. Yeah. yeah. I think that if I drop out of school, I wouldn't be like that. Because they are, somehow they have this opportunity to give their best when they are not in that certain area. So, Michael Jordan has become the top and Michael, Michael Jordan has become. Michael Jordan has become <coughs> the, the top basketball <coughs> player in the NBA All-Star player. And Mark Zuckerberg already has billions of money in his wallet. And last but not least, the third, the third and the very annoying type of student is the Chang type of student. Chang, 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 type of student. Number one, you have to be in the rugby team. But not just any rugby team. You have to be the most valuable player in that particular team. <laughs> Number two, if you are if you are the Czech type of student, then uh, almost certain that you are going to play for the uh, New Zealand team. Hmm? <laughs> uh, or also known as the All Black. Number three, if you are the Chang type of student, then you are the most intelligent person on earth. Number four. Tell me, kid, also. The most. Okay, number four? Number four. If you are the Chang type of student, then you are the future head boy of Sudan. Wow. <laughs> so, as a conclusion to, uh, to my speech, Chang. <laughs> <laughs> I have three major. Uh, I have explained to you there are three major types of students in this world. Number one, the nerdy one who always give out lame who jokes. Always. Who always give out lame jokes to me and yet always made up my day. Number two, the the drop out of school. The who, school drop out. The school drop out. Who always make some Who always become rich or super super cool in the future and yet and. In the future, and last but not least, the Chang type of students, which is the most awesome type of student ever. And with that, I would like to urge all of you to become the Chang type of student. <laughs> and with that, thank you. <laughs>